Welcome back. Um, it's been a little while since I've made like an actual physical video with my car being right in front of me. The last video that I actually did about, well, vehicle stuff was the all-wheel drive Dodge Dart. And today we have another video with my 3 liter Subaru Outback. We got a bit of an unboxing going on here. And course I made sure to bring my unboxing knife so that we can make quick work of these boxes and we have a few different things here uh, let's get right into the unboxing of course we have this big box labeled OBX because well <laughs> long story short my previous exhaust the stock one that was on the car well it blew out at a, after the catalytic converter and unfortunately i needed to get a new one so i have the headers here and after the headers you gotta do like a mid pipe and of course the rear muffler and all that so this is just the headers and I'm going to have the rest of the work done at Midas. So I'm going to have a complete exhaust. And we got to figure out how to open this. we got a couple of staples there. Sorry if I'm not perfectly in the center of the video, but since we... Uh, how are we going to do this? I guess we're just going to go lengthwise. Yeah, be careful not to cut myself. That's the one thing about this knife. It is quite sharp. It'd be pretty bad if I did. box is quite stubborn um, unless this is not the way to open it it's a possibility that that could be it let's try this side this looks like the right side not the other side down so basically what I've explained so far is this is my exhaust I haven't explained these other two things here but uh, yeah we will get to that soon enough yeah, I should probably put this on the ground I don't want the exhaust falling out and hitting the ground that would be pretty bad An open box. Congratulations. And a lot of packing foam. And a very professional. 
professionally looking made uh, exhaust system. So this is just one side of the headers. The other side is in the box. I, for now, I'm just gonna keep it in the box because I just have to bring it over to the shop to have it done. So we will leave it at that. And that is the first box of the unboxing complete. And I do have to say, OBX does an excellent job at hacking. I can obviously tell that uh, there's no issues with like any of the welds being broken in transport or anything like that. So, of course, it all looks fantastic. And let me just screw it back up. And glue we're out of the way. Right over here. Right out of your guys' the other side. So it doesn't get in the way of the rest of this. And, alright. Probably move up to this. I wish I had a table that was closer up for like the smaller stuff, but... Unfortunately, I didn't think of that ahead of time. So, we have here a Kenwood stereo, uh, it's a double din stereo, the best of the best, and it also fits my car perfectly, so I made sure I got the right one. We got a bunch of hardware in the box, that's what I'm setting aside right now, so that I can actually take out the, uh, the stereo itself. And as you guys can see, it's quite a nice stereo. Again, I'm not going to take it out of the wrapping because I don't want there to be like dust and stuff all over it before I install it in my vehicle. Um, it looks awesome and it's very high quality as expected from Kenwood. And uh, yeah. So when I get around to doing that, I'll make sure you guys see what it looks like after it's in the car. Obviously, if I put all that on video, it would be terribly boring. And we don't want that. And onto the, onto the final box. This, I've been wanting ever since I got this car. Actually, it's technically two parts, but this is very cool because normally you just have your standard tail lights on a Subaru Outback. Nothing special, you know. But this is especially special because these are tail lights from Japan. Make sure I don't cut myself here. That would be very not good. And we can get rid of just this piece of paper. And set aside the knife. And get the best view of our tail lights. And again, really well packed. These ones I will open up because there's a lot of packing uh, wrapping. And I don't really want to have to deal with that later. And since I'll be doing this one myself, it's not really a big deal. just check out this one and when I went searching for these or uh, yeah when I went searching for these tail lights on eBay let me tell you it's quite difficult to find stuff like this especially for the car that I have because the Subaru Outback was not particularly popular of course there are some things that you can do with it, 
for instance, my uh, OBX exhaust, but like even that, I had to go through multiple sources before I was able to find that. And yeah, fantastic looking uh, rear tail lights. So we'll just stick that back in the box and yeah. And we will install those sometime in the future. I don't know exactly when yet, but it will happen and it'll look fantastic. Um, and that is it for today. Thank you guys for watching. I will have another one of these unboxing videos pretty soon. It's not about the Subaru again. It's gonna be about the, uh, the Honda CT70. You guys can probably see it. It's, it's right over there. And uh, yeah, there's plenty of stuff for that build as well. Um, yeah, and that should be about it. Thank you guys for watching and have a good night.